Uh, hey guys, I'm gonna talk about uh, frame setups. Um, this frame right here, or yeah, frame setups, uh, wheel setups. I would say um, is uh, a flat setup. So it's called a um, so it's R R eighty millimeter, and it has but um, tours is different. Tours has an indent. See that little indent? Yeah, that's an indent. Uh, it's called DPS. Um, it makes it's, it's supposed to make you uh, have a lower gravity, um, so you can go faster, has more control, better turning, and I recommend uh, flat setups for um, people who has a flat foot. Uh, cause it's it has le less arc than a high low setup, which I want to talk about later. But a high uh, but a flat setup, it's put it's it's less you know, it's I would say less strict. I mean not less strict, but like easier to find wheels, and like it's a bit easier, uh, you know, uh, in general to find. Uh, but um, I recommend flat. You know, it's just my opinion. Um, most people can skate uh, in any. Uh, I know some people who can skate in high, low, and flat, but I can't. I can't skate in high, uh, high low. But now I'm gonna talk about um a high um a high low setup. So high low has two eighties right here. This is two eighties, and pretend these two are seventy six. So eight two eighties two seventy six. Um, I would uh, uh, it's for better turning in the front and then speed on the back. Um, it's p so you have speed on the back and then turning in the front or better stopping. Um, I recommend this for who has like a f really high arc foot. Um, I don't know. So it's better somebody like my friend. Uh, I'm not telling uh, no names. Uh, my friend. Um, he doesn't like bowels because he's a high low, and he has a flat foot. Like a really like you can't you cannot see any arc, but a flat foot. Um, so he doesn't like he likes tours better. He has a lot less arc, but um, it's all it's way better. But high low, I think I, I would like it if I can. Um, you know it's a bit harder to hockey stop. I would say. Um, but totally recommend it. I would totally recommend it to anybody too. Um, uh, a high low setup. Um. I would say kind of difficult to find wheels. You know, some wheels might have not have that size, but most of the time they do, because it's usually all eighty, two eighties, and two seventy sixes. Other than you know, if you have a small foot like you know, size one, you know, size four or five, then it's gonna have a hard time finding wheels. But most of the time you can. Um, the frame setup too is way different than the all flat. Um, the frame you can tell. Uh, cause the high low does not have a DPS, cause it's already seventy six, so you, he he doesn't need to worry about you know the the wheel touching the skate, you know grinding against it. Um, that's it. Um, that's all I usually know. And then I'm gonna talk about rocker, uh, anti rocker, anti um, rock a uh, rocker um. Setup. It's uh, more of, of uh, aggressive skating. It's when um, this front wheel, the back wheel. Is actually wheels, and the two middle is uh, has like um uh, this is on aggressive skate to let you know um has a huge gap right here like an indent so you can grind uh, on the ledges and everything. But these two wheels will be separated out, and then it won't. It's not supposed to roll. It's supposed to stand still and just stay in there to sit there. Cause when you grind, it's it's easier to catch on and then lock on onto it and just grind so you won't slip out. You know, sometimes it might slip out. Um, myself, I don't aggressive skate, but I know a lot too. Um, but anti, you know, aggressive skate. You know, it's not recommended for going indoor rink, you know, because just how the boot it's made. But that's all. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave any comments below. I'll probably answer it. If I don't, I totally recommend to uh, Mr. Mr. Skater dude. 75 he's he can most likely answer your questions um he has four videos up i recommend you, uh, you go there but thank you for watching again and then if you enjoyed the video like it uh thank you